This is End Screen Noise. My name is Colin Dixon, founder and chief analyst at End Screen Media, and today is June 4th, 2020. There is a battle going on for how you watch TV. Uh, and, and as we are all switching our viewing online, who wins that battle has huge implications over how we watch TV into the future. Now, there are two sides. On one side, we have the TV, TV platform providers like Amazon Fire TV and Roku. On the other side, we have the TV content providers, people like HBO, Disney, Netflix, Curiosity Stream, BritBox, and the list goes on and on. Now, the TV providers have the content you want, and the TV platforms are the way that we get it. So we plug those into their TV, or they're actually the TV itself, and that's how we watch the content. So how are these different approaches? How do they work? So let's look at the TV platform experience, the Roku and Fire TV experience first. Well, in this model, when you subscribe to HBO or some other service, you actually subscribe inside of their experience. And to access that content, you must use their app. So you're using the Fire TV app or the Roku channel to watch that content. All of the content that the content provider provides is actually given over to Amazon or to Roku and they manage it in their experience. To watch that, you need the Fire TV app or the Roku app on all of your devices to be able to watch it. So if you subscribe to HBO, you need those apps to watch on your phone or your tablet or wherever. Now, when you do a search for a shame show like Game of Thrones, when you get that list back and you click on Game of Thrones, you actually start playing that inside of the Roku channel or the Fire TV app, whichever one you've picked. And you deal with the platform provider if you have problems with billing or support. So you, if you subscribe to multiple services inside of the Roku channel or the Fire TV app, then you only have one place to deal with for billing issues or support issues. Now, they take a big chunk of change big chunk of your subscription, that is, for doing all of this work. It can be as much as half of the subscription that you think you're paying for, whichever service it is you subscribe to, ends up going to Amazon or Roku. Okay, so that's model number one. Model number two is the TV content provider experience. Now here, when you subscribe, you actually subscribe directly with the provider. So you may be, be able to subscribe through their app on the platform, or you may be able to subscribe through the web, through your phone or something like that, and then you just log in through the television. To watch, you need the HBO Now or HBO Max app, the Disney Plus app, Netflix, Acorn TV, BritBox. You need that particular app loaded on the device to be able to watch. The search, well, the search is pretty much the same. You can still use those unified searches that are available on Roku and on Fire TV to do the search for Game of Thrones. And you get the same list back and Game of Thrones should be listed right there at the top. When you click on it though, it will now launch the HBO app that you're using. So if you're using HBO Go, it launches that. If you're using HBO Now, it launches that or HBO Max. And you deal directly with the content provider if you have a problem with billing or support. So there's, it's a bit more complicated, uh, but since the platform provider is not doing as much work, the content provider keeps most of that subscription revenue that you're paying. Almost all of the monthly subscription revenue should continue to go to the content provider. Okay, now why does this matter? So which, so which one should you prefer? Well, if you prefer to choose the platform provider, it is a very simple experience. You go to one place, you go to your, the Roku channel or the Amazon Fire TV app, and you can search and find and watch, and it's all integrated into one place. But that could be risky because you are putting a lot of power into the hands of Roku and Amazon. If 
all of us go that route, it could be very risky. They could end up deciding what you watch, what services are available, uh, and, and a whole bunch of other things about how we watch. And if you think this is impossible, you can't see this happening, think about this. Google has this power already in search. If you do a Google search and it doesn't show up in that list, does it even exist? Amazon has this power in shopping for many people. Amazon is the first place they go. They do a search inside of Amazon. And if the product they're looking for isn't there, does it even exist? You can bet Amazon will have a close replacement for it, which you may well end up buying. So you can see the impact that that sort of power can have on the business. Now, there are risks too if you go app by app, if you subscribe to each app separately and use their separate apps. It is a lot more complicated. You have to manage all of the apps on your phone, on your TV, everywhere. And you also have to manage different billing and different support approaches. So it is very much more complicated. And it could be harder to find services that you might be interested in. Whereas if you're inside the Roku channel or the Amazon Prime experience, they'll be advertising to you, uh, knowing what your tastes are. They'll, they'll, they'll push services that they think you might like to you. Okay, so those are the two models. I can tell you right now, the content providers, of course, want you to use their apps. And Netflix and Disney Plus already have their way. They do not appear in those integrated experiences on Roku and on uh, Fire TV. HBO Max, the new service from HBO, they want that too and are currently fighting with Roku and Prime TV, Prime um, Amazon Prime uh, Fire TV for that right. Uh, and so you won't find the HBO Max on those platforms yet. Uh, and of course, the platform providers, well, they want you using their apps. Now, which is best for you? Well, why don't you post on this video and tell, tell us what you think, which you think is the best method, and which you think is the best way for us to go forward with television in an online way. Or come to my website and you can post next to this post uh, on my website on endscreenmedia.com. And while you're there, why don't you sign up for the newsletter? This has been Colin Dixon, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.